Well, I'll say this to define what Kai Sinat is, I would just say that he's an entertainer. Like Kai is an, he, Kai he, is an entertainer. Yes. He just crossed that threshold and being an entertainer. And and mind you, I was gonna give Damo a little bit of pushback, but when he said that, and, and yeah, I, I don't know you didn't mean to say just crossed it, but uh what's it called? He he is a full on entertainer. Now what I can say about all these people, we could just go uh, on some of these people's pages and count up basically what they have. And I hope my mic sounds a little bit better, but I can think about DDG's chain. I can think about DDG's cars. I can think about the t the things that DDG has been able to get like money wise, right? I've like, we, he's seen it. We ta He's talked about it, all that stuff. He's had money. Aiden Ross, we know he's had money. Um, you know, Jinxie or whoever, they've all had money. Even with money, they still could not do this. Full stop. So I think that that's what makes Kai, if anybody's hating on Kai for this, you could give your favorite streamer money and they would not do this because mo most often than not, your favorite streamers have money and they still are streaming off a Blue Yeti microphone. They're still streaming off a crappy camera and they're still coming with the same, let's make a reaction video today. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I think that there's that. that's the difference between Kai and that creator is when both of them are given money Kai is thinking of the next big innovative way uh, to put it back into his content. That other person is thinking about which designer or whatever they can purchase. And I'll, I'll even go as far, as far as to say, if that person was in the room with Kai and Kai said, this is what I'm about to do is Kai, Bree, and whoever else, your favorite streamer, and they sat in the room and they were like, this is what we're going to do for the next month. I can guarantee you your favorite streamer still couldn't execute on what's in that brain. And that's not, that's not even dick suck. I've just seen it in real time. Before you enjoy the. All right, let's talk about it. This is what I mean. This is exactly what I mean. So I spoke about this a long time ago. And I think everybody, I mean, it's not like a um, brilliant thought. But I said that Kai, what Kai Sinat does, you can't replicate. I said what Mr. Beast does, you can't replicate. Now, we, I don't like Mr. Beast, you know? And I said I'm not a big fan of Kai. Not because I don't think he's a hard worker and I don't think he puts on good tante. It's just not my thing. I'm older. I, I don't really mix with what he puts out. You know, not a celebrity guy, all that kind of stuff. So, but one thing you can't deny between these two men, whether you like them or not, you can't replicate what they do. Because when they got the money, they put back into their craft. You can't, see, and that's why I say you can't be a live streamer. You absolutely can't. Because you guys won't put in work. You can't put in hours. You can't handle the, the trolls. You can't handle all the stuff that comes with it. And I'm not saying these guys are perfect, but you guys just don't get it. One thing that makes what a, live, a lot of live streamers different from other live streamers, there's an obsession. It's an absolute obsession. I made a video about this on YouTube. Check it out. But there's an obsession in your head, and it never stops churning. Like, how can I make it better? How can I make my live streams better? How can I continue to get better? Keep the production going up. When I first started live streaming, I was live streaming <laughs> with my laptop that couldn't get barely any internet, a phone, and I used to use a little, um, I used to use a little a, a speaker, a speaker. To play music. I didn't know how to play any music. I didn't know how to live stream. All I did was click a couple buttons and I didn't know how to do anything. But as I got more money, as I got more followers, as I got more time, my stream started to go up. I started to make the production go up. I got better lighting. I started playing music. I started investing in the stream decks to where I can just simply go, oh my gosh. I watched other streamers do that kind of stuff and I made sure that I, I tailored my live streams to me. It continued to get better. I started off with just a t-shirt, went from that to a tie and a hat. And now I've gone from that to what I wear now. See, it's always about the production value. It's always about making it the best you can. Because with somebody, and this is what drives me nuts and what drives me crazy. See, I don't know if you think like this, but this is the obsession I have in my head. I now understand that live streaming can really push your buttons. And if you get too caught up in the chat, you get too caught up in the engagement, it's very easy to want to quit because people are going to call you. If you look like me, they're going to call you fat. They're going to call you short. They're going to call you ugly. 
And you could be the prettiest woman. You could be the prettiest man. They will find something they don't like about you, and they're going to roast you, sir. Oh, they're going to roast you. Which is why it's very important to know how you're going to run your show. you got to go in with that whole mindset. And when you're not on this camera, you got to be able to relax, meditate, and understand what you're doing in your life. But here's the obsession that also bothers me. is that At the end of the day, it is, it is entertainment, but it's also a craft. One thing I've learned from some of the greats that I personally watch in live streaming. You avoid ever looking down at your phone. You avoid ever just sitting there. No matter what the F is going on in your stream, you also you always make sure you're looking at this camera. And I've obviously had times myself where I be laughing, I'm chilling. I've had live stream, I'm just vibing. And I might be rapping, I might be freestyling, I might just be singing. I'd be doing a lot of goofy things. I'm a very weird individual. But what I try to make sure is when you click that button, it says, oh, there's a guy going live. His name is What Can I Change? You soon as you click the video, now when you click the video, boom, you already see my initials. What can I change? Bam, first you already got it. Two, I'm trying to give you some kind of energy. And if I'm giving you more of a calm down, I'm giving you more of a I'm chilling, you're going to still come into the stream see me. Hey, guys, here's what I think about this. Blah, 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 blah. You're never going to get on here. And I'm, I'm just sitting here and I'm just. Oh, what's up, Mark? See how you earn money on this platform, how you earn your ability to be on this platform, whatever platform you decide to stream on. It's crazy. What they just mentioned, they said that if your favorite streamer had the same amount of money, they couldn't do what Kai does. That is the thing. Whether there's money or not, are you still giving your absolute best? I got a full-time job. A lot of us do. What do we do with the money? We take some of our money and obviously take care of our lives, put some money into savings, invest some of our money, and then we invest it right back into this crap. Because that's just important to me. I'm not saying... Everybody's going to have a high little studio like Kikes and that with the whole team of people. That takes a long time to get there. But damn it, you do what you can with the money you got. And just know that you might take some L's. That's what, that's what also some, I tell you you can't do in live streaming. Y'all can't stomach the loss. Y'all can't get on here and have zero viewers. You can't get on here and see somebody talking shit. You can't get on here and see nobody chatting. You can't be, get on here and do the same things. I know it's very difficult. But it takes time. But I've been telling people who stream that I know in my real life. Hey, brother. you. Some of them, they get on here and they drink. Some of them, they get on here and they smoke all the time. I tell you, when you live stream, you need to go in sober-minded because I want you to feel the pain. <laughs> when you click on that camera and you click on that and you look at that thing and that thing says zero views, I want you to feel that pain. I want you to feel that you ain't special. You need to feel that shit. You don't want to make it disappear. I'm not saying you can't every now and then get on stream and drink and chill with your chat, but you don't need to be drunk and try to get rid of the pain of trying to be like, well, just get. no, you need to handle all that. You need to be able to understand that because the beautiful thing about streaming is sometimes I like to take off my glasses. I need the light to hit my eyes a little bit. The beautiful thing about streaming is for me, it's always been a live TV kind of thing. I've always done live stuff. So it was a tad bit easier for me to hop into live streaming. I first did it. I don't know why I started doing it, but I, I said, you know what? I'm so good. at I'm not good at <laughs> I want to say I'm pretty good at talking on the camera. Let me see if I can just do it live because most of my videos were unedited. So I was like, let me just see if I could just talk live and do it that way. But see, the difference between me and some other people, I was doing that already on Facebook before YouTube was really popping off like that. I would make my own little stupid little videos, but I would do what I'm doing now. I would do the same thing on stage in real life with real people. I sang in front of thousands of people. I have acted in front of hundreds of people. Okay. I was in high school. I did theater. When I got to college, I did other stuff for churches. I played in front of thousands of people on the drums. I sang in front of thousands of people. I just used to the live setting because the beautiful thing about being live and I, I, and hear me out when I say this for people who are YouTubers or who make films or all that stuff. I, I get it. This the, Everybody has their gifts. Everybody has their gifts. And the thing with live streaming is you have to be ready to screw up. You have to be ready to say stupid stuff. You have to be ready to get, get made fun of. Be, I mean, just be foolish. I always admire people who do live TV. I know we call it old media or legacy media. 
But I always, that's why I don't normally watch TV shows, even though I do think art imitates life. I just don't get into TV shows. I'm more of a YouTube kind of guy, and I like watching live TVs because I want people to have that bad moment and keep it moving. I respect that. It's just something about live streaming where you're like, you got to be on point the whole time. You can't get on here and be something you're not. It's very hard, especially in live streaming. You can only fake it so long. You can only fake being this kind of guy. You can only fake this, oh, I'm, I'm, I, I want to uh, pretend to be smart. I want to pretend to be sexy. I want to pretend to be all these things. You can't fake it forever. You can smile. You can only smile for so long before it, something gets to you. That's what I love about live streaming. You get the full raw emotion most of the time. And you can tell who's really in for this and they just love doing what they do. You can tell who's in the live streaming for the clips. You can tell who was trying to clip farm the whole damn time. You can tell who's just trying to get on here and try to get a reaction. And I'm not against the live streamers. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. But at the end of the day, you can just tell there's a difference. There's levels to this. And I'm not saying I'm at the top level. I got zero people on. Uh, I think I got 28 followers on TikTok. And that's the first time I've ever live streamed. And it's, it might take me months. Years. I don't give a fuck. How long it takes me to, to get to where I want to get. I said I want that live pro badge. I want that live pro badge. I don't. It may take me two, three years. I don't care. It's the consistency for me. And it's always going to be that way. And I'm not going to be some different guy. I know I got the chains on. You see them. I know you see the chains. But this shit don't change me. I'm still going to be a weirdo sometimes. I still am into some feminine things. I ain't going to lie. Sometimes I look into makeups. I know what it's like to get rid of me. I know about the Stanley Cup shit. I know about all the other overconsumption stuff that the women do. That's important for my craft. But I'm also going to get on here and talk to you about marriage. I'm going to get on here and talk to you about the things that are masculine. I can talk to you about work. I've been to whoever the fuck I want to be on here. I don't try to be fake and I don't try to fool y'all into anything. This is who I am and who I'll always be. But live streaming ain't for the weak at heart. And I want to say this before I continue, because we're going to talk about somebody. We're going to talk about the dark side of live streaming. But there is a, a component where you do need to take breaks. Because some people say they want to just live stream and just don't stop. If, you're a, if it's your first time live streaming, you need to live stream one time. Come back in a couple days. See how it went. Did you, if, you, if you had some followers, great. If you had zero, get your head together. Get used to seeing that zero. All right, live stream again. Come back another couple days. Maybe take three days. Come back. Get used to that zero, but get better. Come up with a topic this time. Or don't just come in here aimlessly and... Hey. Hey, guys. Don't forget to like the stream. Like the stream for what? You just sitting there. And I'm supposed to come in and like the stream so I can see your big ass forehead. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not coming in here to watch your live stream just to see your big ass forehead. And you're just looking into the camera this damn close to me. And just saying, hey guys, throw some galaxies in this bitch. No, I, you want to entertain me. That's the also the thing about being live stream. It is, let's be honest, it's somewhat of a damn circus. We are just entertaining for the most part. Try to give you tidbits. Try to be funny. I try to do that. I try to be funny. I try to laugh. But I'm also trying to educate you on what I've done in my life when I talk about finances and get your credit score up, all that shit. I just do it in a funny way. But I always want to educate. I try to give you some value. So when you do decide to support me or you decide to do that shit, I feel like it was well earned. Not you just hopped in here and liked it because I had a pretty ass face. You know what I'm saying? No. No, no, no. But let's talk about the dark side. Because... It ain't easy, okay? Because people are really going to fuck with you. 